So what I do, let's go. Do you have to know what your criteria is for the loose leash? Good job, okay. He's looking at me and checking in. I'm going to reinforce that. Good. You want the you want to teach your dog to check in. That's going to be real helpful. Now, but not completely looking at just at the treats though. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Say that Randy did some work before she went on vacation to Florida, right? We had so much fun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lisa DeSatnik to the show. Hi, everybody. Uh, Lisa, I understand you also went to Dean's house and worked with his dogs. I did. Fierro and Sonoma. Sonoma was the one that uh, caught on real quick, and Fierro, uh, he caught on, and they're both obeying after you had come out and uh, train them to sit and not jump. So thank you very much. Oh, we had so much fun. And, and your dogs are runners, because I remember being over there at Halloween, we, oh, our yeah. evening abruptly ended, and yes. we all had to go hunt for your dogs. Yeah, they, t <laughs> they take off, they're, they're quick. So thank you very much. You're well, so good at what you do, and your, you. your company, your business, and website, so much potential. Talk about that and, and what you enjoy doing with animals. You know, I find this so rewarding. I just love it. I've been studying animal behavior for probably about 12 years uh, when I bought my African Grey Barnaby. And as anybody knows who has ever had an African Grey, they love to imitate. And he thought the coolest thing to do was to imitate a scream. But he oh, would do yay. it really loud, yeah. and uh, it wasn't so cool with me. And he would do it constantly, which, you know, screaming is definitely one of those behaviors that is very difficult. We, what happens with us, and we do this, you know, as parents, people do this too, is we end up- Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> What we do is we don't even realize it, but we're reinforcing the behaviors that we don't want to see. And we're not She's reinforcing the behaviors. <laughs> <laughs> we're not reinforcing the behaviors that we do want to see. Okay. Um, so I got started with the study of behavior that way in the science of behavior. And now I went from having a a bird that screams all the time to a bird that talks to me all day long. Really? We have conversations all day long. Barnaby knows the only way to communicate with me that I'll listen is if he talks human, and so he does that. So and you, you basically l look at the pets you work with and see the potential in them and bring the best of the, that out in them. Well, the thing, yes, absolutely. And the, the also, it's seeing the potential in the owners, too, because we all have the potential to succeed. All of us do. It's just a matter of teaching us in a way 
that we understand and with positive reinforcement. When you're working towards something that's really positive, it's yeah. so much fun. All right, so much potential. Lisa DeSadnik, you're on Facebook, your website, your LinkedIn. If you need somebody to uh, take a look at your pets and get them uh, on the straight and narrow, it is Lisa. Lisa, good to talk to you. Thanks. Thank Thanks you so for much. Me. All right, we had our talent search, and mm. what a turnout we had. And we found this talented young man, 11 years old. He's coming up next on the Guitar Center stage. We'll be right back. Thank you.